Hi witches! So I feel like I've been doing a lot of luxury videos and I wanted to shake it up a little bit and do something kind of fun. Um, so today, so today I thought I would go through my bag of various things that I've collected um, that I wanted to put in my book of shadows and just kind of show you guys what I am including. Um, so if you guys don't know, I think I talked about like how I'm organizing my book of shadows a couple months ago. There is a video about it somewhere and I will try to link it if I can. Basically for the last year, this is a bag I got in Salem. Um, I'm going, I've been like collecting random pieces of paper and things that I wanted to include in my book of shadows so I wanted to show you guys to like give you some examples of things that I want to put in there the way I'm structuring my book of shadows and the way I'm designing it I guess um is to be kind of like a junk journal <laughs> um so I really want to like have like little scrap pieces of paper and like little notes and just have it like look kind of arcane and cool so um, one of the th first things that I'm going to put in there, I really like this illustration of the, the raven with like the, um, the lavender and the bee and stuff. So I'm going to cut this out. This is like an old incense packet that is 100% recyclable. I'm, I'm going to be cutting this out and putting it in uh, one of the pages that I have for the Morrigan, I believe. So that was my like idea behind that. I also like that it says breathe plants, not plastic on the back. And I think that's really neat. And like this little fairy is really cool too. So um, I really like Sea Witch Botanicals. I am not sponsored by them. I just really like their products. Um, so I definitely recommend. Um, okay, I'm just gonna pull out this. So this is actually something that I've kept for over a year. Um, and this is something that a, it's like a beautiful piece of artwork that a friend of mine made um and drew and it's beautiful and honestly like it's just really really sweet so um i i'm really excited i want to like scan this down and like min like switch it a little bit i think or scan it and then size it down so it'll fit but i really love this illustration i think it's gonna look really really good in my like yule page because i am doing um different pages for all of the solstices or solstices and holidays i should say okay so i i, I definitely pulled out a bunch of things on accident but what i did pull out were the um the individual like oracle cards or spell cards that came with the first um like couple witch wednesdays unboxing boxes i guess so oh here's another one um so these again are going to go all with like the different holidays and um i also have the oh i have the correspondences for golden quartz that's pretty cool i tend to collect those from my local metal physical stores um I got some stuff about Beltane in here and a cool sigil. Um, admittedly, and I'm really upset about this, I had these sitting um, by a window. And because I live in an old house, the windows aren't always sealed. So whenever it rains, it gets wet. So that really sucked. But um, these seem to be salvaged okay, and I'm happy about that. But also the ones that are a little bit water damaged look kind of like aged and cool. So I'm not like super mad about it. Um, but it is cool to see these again. All right, I have some more. Oh, these are all the Yule correspondences. So I probably have like a lot of holiday stuff in here. Um, this is probably the Yule box checklist. Oh, the Letha box checklist, so the opposite. Um, let's see. Oh, that's right. Okay, so a patron of mine sent me these amazing freaking stickers and stuff and like these little envelopes and I'm gonna use the envelopes, like I'm gonna repurpose them like in, I'm gonna like paste in the flat side so I can put stuff in there and like have things like secret pockets and stuff. Um, but yeah, they sent me like this, this whole package of things and I was like crying, like it was the greatest day of my life. Um, but yeah, they like sent me stuff that they thought I would just like. So I have this like cool little skull and this like dog. Um, and this like snake sticker and these like they used to work with Hecate and they knew that I did so or had started working with them so they sent me like a little care package and I just it was so pure and I'm so thankful um it's like a snake and an owl <laughs> um and then they sent me this really really nice little note and I'm gonna keep it and put it in my book of shadows because it was really sweet and it's really pretty like look they worked so hard on that and um and there's like uh like uh, just handwritten things with like drawing I j I cry I love I live for this kind of stuff so thank you again so much for this um and it's going in my book of shadows like there's no question about that at all in my mind for the like grimoire slash like spell part of my book of shadows so the way I'm, I'm like 
doing things. It's going to be correspondences and reference in the front and then spells and notes in the back. If that makes sense. Um, we did a Yule like card swap amongst some local pagans as well as several pagans on my, um, on my discord, which if you want to join, we are open to everybody and the link is in my bio. Um, but basically the idea was to send a card and send a spell or some sort of thing. So this is a recipe for a winter solstice soup. Um, so I have that. This person sent like actual herbs and stuff, which is really cool. And I'm considering like um, putting, like laminating them into my book of shadows, but I'm not really sure. Or maybe just like putting the bags in there. <gasps> the envelope, we got it. But like, look how cool this is. It's like a little booklet and they work so hard and it's so cool. Um, this is actually a really dear friend of mine made who was part of the swap. Um, and they like made their own paper and the idea was to inscribe your troubles upon this parchment enchanted when burned on the solstice, the release will be granted. Like that's the spell, but I couldn't bring myself to burn it. So I'm putting it in my book of shadows. Um, but I think this is really cool. And like, I just love the way it looks. And the person who made this, like, this is their vibe, like for sure. And I just loved every second of it. So, um, they also had like a wax seal in there. So this isn't it, but like, they had an M and I'm going to put this on the Morrigan's page. I'm going to like glue it in because um, it's really cool. So that was someone else's, but they had one that had like a pentacle on it, which was really neat. Um, more spells, a restful winter meditation. Um, this it looks like someone like hand drew, which is crazy. Um, and I love it. I think it's really neat. So this is going to go on my Yule page. Um, and I just, I love handmade stuff, guys. Like I just, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> Um, and then another elderberry syrup recipe. Okay, let's see more. Like, so I literally got so many. I was not expecting this. It was amazing. Um, four element centering, recentering. Um, and some of these might go elsewhere within my book of shadows. Um, this is really nice in magic. You, it's like a little poem and I really like that as well. So I'm gonna be kind of sorting through all of this stuff and figuring out where exactly I wanna put it once I actually get the book itself. Um, this is the wax seal that I was talking about and just more recipes. I know I have a lot. This is an evil eye amulet, which is cool. Um, and then this is a whole ass page, release the past, which I really like. Um, so yes, have some more crystal correspondences, tourmalated quartz. Um, this is something from Salem, walking tours. Oh, I think I just liked the little logo here and I thought that was cool. Um, yep, I don't even think we went there, that's really funny. The Samhain correspondences. I hope I have all of them. I feel like I've lost a bunch, but, oh, this is actually really nice. I don't know if this is actually gonna go into my, um, Book of Shadows per se, maybe something like from it. Um, but this is a program from the fashion show that I was in. If you guys want to see that, I made a whole video about it. Um, of course, I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> oh, this is an old mood board that I made. Probably, again, not gonna go into my uh, Book of Shadows, but that is okay. So this is actually a note, and I'm not gonna open it because it has the person's name in it. Um, that someone, like, they made the paper and wrote me like a nice little like Yule card thing on this. So this is really cool. Again, going probably in my Yule section. Um, this, I'm gonna try to cover it up. Um, this is from my best friend when she made the, um, like the little rose quartz necklace that I have. Uh, she made that for me earlier this year and I kept the envelope because I really like it. It has some really pretty washi tape on it. Um, so I'm gonna try to take the washi tape off. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, but she wrote me like a cute little note and stuff and I really liked it and I really liked this drawing that she did. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put that in my book shadows. Let's see, Imbok. I have the Imolk box. You can see it got a little wet um, correspondences and stuff like that. So that's like from the first one, which is crazy. We are almost done here. Yeah, you can see these got kind of rained on, which sucks. Um, but I'm still putting them in to my, um, into my thingy, thingy jig. Um, let's see. These are like, oh, little notes. This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. More little mule notes. This is hilarious. This is from 2018, um, so I don't know if you guys can see that there. Um, and this was like a tarot reading that I got, um, and it, a lot of it ended up coming to pass, which I think is really neat. I used to carry this around in my wallet like all the time, and I have another one, I don't know if it's in here, but this is really cool. I'm gonna put it in my tarot section, I think, for my book. Okay, so we have more Imolk stuff. 
um, Ostara, which is cool. More of the correspondences. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. I kept this. This is an envelope um, from the place that we stayed in Salem. I, I was gonna, I, I think I'm just gonna put the envelope in there. I think it's really neat. Um, but it's like a good memory. It's like the first real road trip that Chris and I went on um, as a couple. And um, I just really like it. It's really neat. It's the oldest like building that is a bed and breakfast in America. So that was really cool. I did not know that when I booked it. I was just like, perfect. It looks goth AF. Um, and it was, it was a really fun experience. So um, definitely keeping that and especially for the memories. Um, here's some Letha stuff. Let's see. Ah, uh, the witch house. <laughs> um, again, from Salem. Um, we did have a whole lot of time. I can't wait to go back and actually like tour it, tour it, but we did have some fun times. So definitely check that out. Uh, more Samhain Sa stuff. Another thing from the Daniels house. <laughs> um, this is something that I've had for a really long time. Um, my friend, Pocket Bean, <laughs> who's Etsy, you should totally check out, or not Etsy, their website, um, and their Kickstarter, which is awesome. They made a bunch of sigils for me, so I'm going to be putting these into my Book of Shadows. I think I'm going to be cutting them out, um, but I just love them, and they're so beautiful, and like, swirly and pretty and I'm really bad at making sigils look as nice as this so it was nice to have like a nice sigil page done like this for me um so yeah it was really cool the next thing and we're coming down to the end here guys I promise um I got this really cute card from all of the models who modeled for me at the show um and then they also had this like really cute little envelope so I'm probably going to cut this off and use it somewhere in my notebook and it's going to be very cool um so there's that I am such a scavenger when it comes to this I know you guys can make fun of me it's okay so next and I'm not really sure that you guys are going to be able to read this at all, but if you guys can see that, this is a another tarot reading thing that I got um, from 2015. So I think that's proof enough that I've been at least practicing that long. Um, no, but I've been practicing for a lot longer than that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this in with the rest of my tarot stuff. Um, looks like I got a couple more, like, oh, I got some more correspondence cards. So I have Snowflake Obsidian. Bloodstone and Fluorite. So I'll be putting that in the crystal section of my uh, Book of Shadows. And then finally, the last couple um, spell cards that I got from, I think I have more laying around here somewhere. I don't know. Um, but these are spell cards that I got in the, um, the last boxes from, oh my gosh, which Wednesdays? I'm sorry, I totally blanked on that. Um, finally, and this is something that I will probably be cutting out, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is a map of Salem, Massachusetts. Um, so I'm probably going to cut this out and put it in the Salem like section of my book because it's very interesting. So, um, yeah, this is some of the stuff I've collected. I'm definitely going to go out and get some stickers and like some cool washi tape and stuff. I'm like saving up and trying to like not blow all of my money at once on this thing. So, um, that's kind of my the way I'm approaching it. I would love to hear what you guys are including in your Book of Shadows. There's definitely gonna be more than this. Um, and I, throughout the next year or so, am going to be showing you how I'm working on my book because I really wanna like take a year to like do it, kind of how I took a year to do this project. So yeah, that's what I'm putting in my Book of Shadows. I would love to hear from you guys and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.